Hey, what is up everyone? Chris, the Thrift Shop Hustler. Today is Monday. It's another day for what sold on eBay this week. We had a pretty good weekend. Not super crazy sales, but we got some pretty good sales. And we're going to actually go through what sold on eBay this week. But first, a little bit of business. If you're new to the channel, please cl click the subscribe button down below. Click the bell if you want to be a part of the notification squad. You get an email every time a new video comes out. Also, click the like button at any time during this video that you learn something new or anything. And also, once again, if you have any questions, any comments, please leave a comment below. I really appreciate your comments. I love going through all the comments and everything. So let's get right into it. We did a pretty good week. Um, with eBay, I'm going to show you some of the highlights and some of the other things that we got going on here. Uh, first up, we got this official Rock Band USB port. This isn't the dongle that everyone is pretty familiar with. Those dongles go for anywhere between $15 and $19. This was actually another piece. I think I paid a quarter for this at a yard sale. And it basically is a USB port hub. And uh, you can actually use this for a bunch of different things. But it is a Rock Band one, so you can plug in uh, all the different little components to it and you will have to use only one slot so it's really cool it's a four point a four four point pub a doo doo the four point four point four pub point four point point <laughs> oh my god it's a four port hub that's what it is man what is up with my brain today Anyways, next up we have this vintage Teddy Ruxpin set. I've actually shown Teddy Ruxpin stuff before. Actually finally sold this set. It was, I don't think, some of these were NOS. A lot of these look like they were open before. And they were in pretty good condition. Some of them were mint condition and stuff like this. I bought a huge collection of Teddy Ruxpin for $40. This was part of it. Yes, I got all that Teddy Ruxpin stuff at one point for $40. I parted it out. I still have some of it. We'll talk about that later. But anyways, these were clothes. Uh, this is from 1985. Look out for Teddy Ruxpin stuff if you can find it. It's not like crazy good sellers, but if you can get this stuff for really cheap, it's definitely worth picking up, especially if the costumes are in good condition. And these happen to have their boxes and everything. The only downfall about this is I charged $17.99 for shipping. This needed to go UPS because it was a huge box. And that cost me about 30 something dollars. So I took a loss on this with the shipping. So just be a warning out there for everyone. If you're going to ship something that's large and you're going to ship it UPS, make sure you just pre box it up and have a general understanding of what you're going to do. That was my bad because I ship a lot of small things. As some of you might notice that I do this part time. And um, one of the things I like to do is I like to do DVDs and video games and little toys because I love to be able to ship out small things and not have to deal with a big thing. So this one, I kind of dropped the ball on this one. But anyways, the guy that purchased this was very nice and we couldn't wait to dress his, uh, his Teddy Rex been up in all kinds of new different clothes. I don't know if that might sound weird to some of you, but, you know, teach throwing. Everyone's got a hobby and... I'm not knocking him for that because he seemed very excited about this. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Next up, we have this, uh, some of my private label stuff. I'm into Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. I made a bunch of swag and memorabilia for Bitcoin and Litecoin and stuff. This is one of the Litecoin uh, thing that I made. I sold three of these on Sunday. So $29.99. I'm literally a couple dollars into these at wholesale, so it's a good uh, it's a good turnaround. These were all designed by me and created and produced and stuff like this. I don't really talk about my private label too much. I hint about it every once in a while, but yeah, I've done stuff like that, creating products like this. And uh, we're down to the last few of these things, so they're selling very well now that, you know, Litecoin and Bitcoin and everything is is going up in price, so there is that. Next up, we have this assassination, uh, Pal Smith assassination. <clears throat> this is actually a kind of funny book. It's like, I don't know. It's like a Lego book, but it's like, uh, it's, it's a weird, it's a humor book. It's weird. It's Legos. It's actually, it's not like a bootleg book. It's actually sanctioned by Legos or licensed by Lego, but it's not an official Lego book. I don't know, but I found this at a thrift shop a long time ago. I think I paid like $2 for it and try to get, you know, twenty dollars for the longest time. Anyways, it, it sold without a sale. Uh, Nine ninety nine plus five dollars media mail. Next up, we have this Canon mini camcorder. This was uh, a gift, 
or, or I should say a donation um, from a, uh, let's see. Here. Yeah, this was, so this, I'm trying to think if this is the one. I don't think this is one. I think I might have picked this one up from uh, a garage sale or something like that. But anyways, this one sold for 40 19 with 11.99 shipping this one actually came with a battery and everything definitely test your camcorders if you can i tested this one and it worked well with everything so this was a <clears throat> pretty good sell you can actually find camcorders at garage sales a lot of the times i've found them as low as like five dollars people even want to go as low as a dollar it's crazy you know these camcorders back in the day when they came out i don't want to say back in the day it wasn't too long ago maybe 10 you know, years ago, these things were like $600 cameras. It's crazy to see how, you know, now you can find these for like $10 or less, even in thrift shops sometimes. Next up, we have this Hercules figure. And actually, this is actually a pretty cool thing. Uh, some of you might have saw that um, action figure haul, and I'm going to leave a link up right here to that. And uh, this was part of, I went through like 100 action figures, and I picked out some ones that I wanted. And this one actually sold for $39.99 plus $5.99 shipping. And uh, it, it's not that big. So it was kind of crazy. I got this for $2 out of thrift shop. And <clears throat> yeah, this sold really fast. I listed this and it was sold in less than a day. Some of I've seen some of these go as high as $60. I don't know what it is. It's just this old figurine set that's, figurine set that's hard to find. People love this older Disneyland, Disneyland Disney stuff. And uh, Hercules, the, the the cartoon or the cartoon, the feature, there wasn't really much merch made for Hercules. And it's kind of got a, a, I don't want to say a cult following, but it's definitely one of those movies that Disney made that didn't do very well in the box office, but had a better life after the fact. So I don't know if there's that. This sold, purchased for two, sold for 40 something with shipping. Next up, we have this Lego thing. I'm going to tell you, I kind of messed up a little bit on this. I had a sale, a 33% off sale. I think it was a couple days ago. And this was a, a Lego thing that was from 1998. And it is def definitely worth $20. And I made a mistake of not... I accidentally left this clicked when I did my Markdown Manager. And I shouldn't have done that, but this sold like literally instantly as soon as my seal went up for a good reason. I mean, this thing is in amazing condition. It's sealed. Uh, the little, I think the little figure alone goes for like $15 mint. And this thing's like a whole thing brand new. It's not, it's like a little box, but anyways, I paid a dollar for this at the thrift shop. That was a good pickup. Uh, next up, we have this urban money kind of DIY DIY. Man, I cannot, I cannot talk today. I don't know what it is. <clears throat> I feel like my voice is going out. Uh, this is a, like a create your own. Basically what you do is a little plastic figure. You can paint it, do whatever you want. I was into that whole thing before. I still do customs and uh, Evilos art and things like that. But this was purchased when Kid Robot actually went out of business for a little while. And they liquidated like so much of their stuff. And I think I paid like a dollar for this. I bought a few cases of these. And I wish I had a, some more... I wish I had more capital at the point at that time because there were so many things that they were liquidating for so cheap. And like I said, I've, I've sold these as high as $16 plus shipping. And uh, down to the last couple of them, I actually pro probably keep the last ones and paint them myself. I don't know. We'll think about that. Uh, next up, we have these razors, a uh, Remington. I picked these up at the thrift shop. They were a dollar each. And uh, these sold for, I want to say I took a best offer for $11.99 plus shipping. And I guess when I saw these, I was instantly scanning these on Amazon. Um, whenever I see NOS stuff, new old stock, I will definitely scan it on Amazon. These were a dollar. The lady at the thrift shop said that I missed a case of these by like 15 minutes. And that would have been a really good score. I don't know how many a case would have had in them. Maybe 24, 36 Something like that, but a case of these would have been good for a dollar a piece. Like I said, there's a lot of people selling these all day long for two for fifteen plus shipping. Um, I've seen these as high as like twelve something just for one. So, anyways, this sold really fast. I took a best offer for eleven something. I just wanted to get rid of it. It was a quick flip. Bread and butter. Uh, next up, we have this Veggie Tales DVD. This I've had this forever. It was sold on a twenty percent off sale. Um, I have a huge amount of DVDs in my stock 
and it's just nice to sell them, you know, every once in a while. They're easy to store. They're easy to ship. I definitely highly suggest getting the DVDs, but know what you're doing. I have so many DVDs, I don't even know what to do with, and it's just it's just one of those things where, you know, eventually I got to figure out, sell them all in a bulk lot or whatever. But definitely do your research. Not all DVDs are going to be good. I want to say even like 90% of DVDs are not even going to be worth buying. But, you know, if you can get them for a good deal, lot them together or look for specific titles. There's DVDs that go for over $40. They're called, uh, there's a lot of out of print ones, OOPs. Look out for those. They're definitely out there. <clears throat> and I got a frog in my throat. Uh, <laughs> this thing. Uh, next up, there's like 50... <laughs> These are like 50 eyelash things. I've talked about this before in previous videos where I was like, I bought like all these eyelash things for like a dollar each and like I can't get rid of them. I thought I scanned them on Amazon and they were $15 each. And I thought I made a lot of money, but it was like I was gated in, in cosmetics at the time, which I'm not gated by anymore because of some crazy like, I don't even know if it was some error, but one day they were just un, ungating everyone and all these all these uh, categories if you just went and applied. But anyways, now I can sell these on Amazon, but I didn't go back. I just left this up. Anyways, these finally sold. Like I said, this is probably a loss when you really think about it. And yeah, there's not much to say. I probably would never. Now that the, the information that I know now, I probably wouldn't buy these ever again. This kind of stuff. Unless the, I can get them for like a quarter a piece, then it would have been worth it. Even 50 cents, I might have done it. But a dollar each for these now, I just got caught up in the moment. I just did one search, like scanned on eBay or scanned on Amazon. I was like, $15.99. Oh, my God, I'm, I'm a millionaire. <laughs> Everybody, did you ever do that? Well, anyways, uh, I did sell a couple of these on Poshmark and a couple of these on eBay for like 10 bucks. So it wasn't like a total loss. So... Just do your research, folks. All it comes down to it. Next up, we have this purple tie. I bought a huge collection of ties one time. I think I paid like a dollar each for these. And I literally have pretty most of them sitting in the box waiting to still get listed. I was so excited one day to just, just oh my god, I got all these ties. I'm going to list them. I'm going to do it professional. I'm going to have a Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to track all the different sales of the ties. And then I'm going to know you know, what ties to look out for. That, sh that shit went all out the window. I just was like, ugh, I'm tired and, you know, lazy and just didn't <laughs> didn't list them. Anyways, this tie sold for like $7 and something cents and a 40%. Oh, this was actually a, a 40%. Oh, yeah, so this must have been my uh, Black Friday sale, which was, or no, I think Cyber Monday was 40%. Anyway, someone bought this. It was a really nice tie, really good condition. Uh, pretty much mint condition, actually. And, uh, yeah. Some of the stuff I probably wouldn't, you know, unless the Termes or something like that, I probably wouldn't, wouldn't. Well, I would, God, God, I got so caught up in ties and, like, soft goods at one point. I just, I sat, I literally, and this is the truth, I have a, a storage unit. I have two boxes filled with women's jeans that I got for a dollar at Goodwill when they're having some sale because I got caught up in, like, Oh, you know, buy and sell pants. You'll become a millionaire and all this crap. I was just like, you know, for a, I, I just, oh my God. Anyways, they'll, they'll, I'll bust those out in 20 years from now when, when uh, jeans are outlawed by robot Trump or something like that, by the AI overlords. I'll bust those out and people will be like, oh my God, jeans, I remember those. Anyways, I just went off on a little side run on that one. <clears throat> Next up, we have this uh, M ME808. God, I'm, I'm losing it today. I apologize, everyone, for the lack of professionalism in my voice and in the way that I'm trying to communicate to you. I really... What am I saying? I don't know. Anyways, this is a custom that I made. As you can see, it's got my Evolos branding. It's it's a candy thing. Whatever. It's art. You know, I've, I've sold these for as high as $60. This was on sale for um, Cyber Monday. Someone bought it. It's a cool piece of art. It's custom painted by myself. It's all airbrushed and stuff. Bada bing, bada boom. Next up, we have this uh, Mystery Case Files. This is a Nintendo Wii game. I bought this with a collection of games. I think it broke down to this, selling this, or buying this for about a dollar. Anyways, uh, took a best, or this is not best offer. This was actually sold uh, for $11.99 in Cyber Monday sale. 
and it came with instructions and it had its disc and just make sure when you buy in video games to look at the discs make sure they're not scratched to hell unless you got one of those fancy resurfacers that I wish I had but maybe in 2018 I'll put a little bit of coin away I said I was gonna do that this year I was gonna put a little bit of money away each sale till I had like twelve hundred dollars to buy one of those fancy resurfacers because I do come I do do a lot of media and I don't do a lot where I would need to resurface stuff but it would be nice to have in the collection because there's definitely times where you know a resurfacer would have turned a ten dollar item into a twenty or thirty dollar item so it's just tools of the trade uh, next up we have this uh, Panasonic DV mini DV for little camcorders I got this at a yard sale for a dollar these are no-brainers if you can find old media for cheap definitely pick it up even old VHS is some sealed VHS that are that are that are the good quality kind go for a pretty good amount of money uh, mini DVs if they're sealed go for a pretty good amount of money like bread and butter all day long if you can get these for a dollar or less pick those up uh, next up, we have this 1985 Teddy Ruxpin. Like I said, I, I I was trying to sell this all these books before and a whole lot, and and there was a lot of interest, but no one was wanting to pay what I wanted for it. So I said, you know what? I'm just gonna break them up, list them as 29.99. I'm selling them every once in a while, taking best offers. This one was a Cyber Monday sale, 17.99. 99. I'm Chris at Thirst Hustler. You have been watching. 16 minutes of what's sold on eBay. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. Please subscribe. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers. We're going to have, probably have 3,000 subscribers by the end of the week. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe, smash potato, the potato button, click the bell if you want to be notified via email. And once again, I really appreciate your guys' support. And I love showing you guys what I saw on eBay. And we're going to have lots more videos this week, so stay tuned. See you later.